The findings point to the possibility of new therapeutic strategies against neurodegenerative diseases, which are relatively common in older adults and so far have no effective, disease-modifying treatments. Brain inflammation, especially via the activation of immune cells in the brain called microglia, has long been noted as a common feature of neurodegenerative diseases. The spread of abnormal, thread-like aggregates, tangles, of a neuronal protein called tau is another frequent feature of these disorders. In the study, which appeared April 12 in Nature Communications, the researchers showed that the tau tangles help trigger the inflammatory activation of microglia via a multifunctional signaling pathway called the NF-kappa-B pathway. Experiments have shown that tangles, when injected into animal brains, can seed the formation of new tangles, creating a chain reaction in which the tangles spread to other brain regions. In the new study, Dr. Gan and her team found evidence from cell culture and mouse experiments that tau tangles push microglia into this disease-linked inflammatory state mainly by activating the NF-kappa-B signaling pathway within them. In Alzheimer's mouse model with tau tangle mainly driven by seeded tau, they showed that keeping the NF-kappa-B pathway overactive in microglia enhanced the seeding and spread of tangles, which propel further NF-kappa-B activation. By contrast, shutting off NF-kappa-B blocked this vicious cycle, and markedly lessened the spread of the tangles. In another tau-mouse model, with tau-tangle formed in aged neurons, the researchers showed that the inactivation of microglial NF-kappa-B shifted the microglia almost entirely out of their inflammatory, disease-associated state, restoring a much more normal cell appearance and pattern of gene activity. This shift, which suppresses microglia from disgorging toxic tau seeds, strikingly, prevented key cognitive, memory deficits the mice normally develop in this model. Taken together, our experiments suggest that tau's toxic effects on cognition require microglial NF-kappa-B signaling, said co-senior author Dr. Wenji Luo. Associate Professor of Research in Neuroscience in the Apple Alzheimer's Disease Research Institute and the Fail Family Brain and Mind Research I. Over the past two decades, many experimental Alzheimer's treatments have aimed to slow or stop the disease process by targeting amyloid plaques and more recently tau tangles. So far, all these efforts have failed in large-scale clinical trials. The new findings suggest that future drugs taming overactive microglial NF-kappa-B signaling might fare better, Dr. Gan said. Her lab is now following up with further research to detail more precisely how microglial NF-kappa-B signaling, which affects the activities of at least hundreds of other microglial genes, impairs neurons and leads to cognitive and memory deficits. The researchers will investigate how to restrain specific aspects of overactive NF-kappa-B signaling without affecting the normal function of brain's immune cells. Make a Difference Sponsored Opportunity Story Source Materials provided by Weill Cornell Medicine Note Content may be edited for style and length 2022, April 14. Key signaling pathway in immune cells could be new Alzheimer's target. Science Daily. Retrieved April 14, 2022 from ift.tt slash r5fm2px while Cornell Medicine. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel for more videos.